So, uh, Patrick Thomas, uh, can you describe the, um, the main differences in approach from the Chinese and Asian auto manufacturers compared to the European and the Western manufacturers? I guess the customer needs are slightly different, and that has one big effect, and that is in China you've got some huge urban uh, cities and urban structures which are just so much bigger than anything that exists in uh, the Western world that small urban vehicles are very, very popular. The other big difference is, of course, the design cycle. There is a much faster design cycle in, in China. The vehicles are very often much simpler, and uh, that means a three- or four-year design cycle rather than the six- to seven-year cycle that we'd be familiar with in the West. And what, what does that mean in, in terms of the potential for the use of innovative products from the chemical industry? Mm, well, I guess as a material producer, we see that as an opportunity because obviously getting into new models in uh, Europe and America uh, often involves having to wait through a design cycle and approval process which can be six or seven years long. If the design cycle is much faster, then clearly we get more opportunities to get uh, new products into the vehicles, and particularly in China where they're very, very aware of environmental needs and demands. They're very conscious of trying to produce very lightweight vehicles. And they seem to be very interested in going direct to non-hybrid but all-electric vehicles. So uh, lots of opportunities for new materials. And can, you, can you highlight some, some of the um, biomaterial science products which you think have got good potential for these markets? Yeah, I guess uh, it goes right the way through from traditional areas such as uh, polycarbonate lens systems, Macrolon for... Uh, now glazing systems, replacing glass in vehicles, particularly sunroofs and uh, rear, rear tailgates for SUVs. Uh, in the area of seating systems, obviously polyurethanes, sound absorbing systems, polyurethanes again, and uh, interior trim, very often using polyurethane systems. And now increasingly uh, we're getting interested in using uh, nanoparticle, particularly carbon nanotube, uh, improved uh, composites. Uh, in these vehicles to achieve really, really lightweight construction, supplementing our existing uh, uh, systems in polyurethanes which use carbon fibre and uh, open matrix. Thanks very much, Patrick. Great pleasure. Thank you.